What if everything you're doing to make things better is only making things worse? What if it's the doing that's the problem? What if it turns out that your strengths, your ideologies, your values, your opinions, are your weaknesses right now? And your weaknesses, shh, we won't talk about them, are your strengths. What if the need to make someone listen or see or understand makes that same someone more determined not to listen or see or understand? What then? Would you be willing to change your approach, to reconsider and to let go of the how in order to achieve the what? Well, this is Sonderlust with Steve M. Nash, offering an uncommon perspective on the human being experience. An invitation for you and I to blame and shame less and to listen more and to see what comes from doing that. Episode 7. React or Respond. The poetic one that invites you to put down your sword. Quote, Defence is the first act of war. Byron Katie. Those that live by the sword, die by the sword. And what goes around, comes around. Invitation. Poetic call to arms. Put down your sword. Put down your words. Put down your thinking. Put down who you think you are. For a moment. This precious moment. Put down your shoulds, your coulds and your woulds. Put down your sword, I invite you. Put down your need to be right. Put down your desire to be liked. Put down your need to know what's next. Put it down. Place it here. Let it go. Put down the past. Put down the future. And be here now. Put down your sword. Put down your black and whites, your right and wrongs. Put down your judgments, your frustrations, your fears. Put down your facts and your figures. Put down your causes, your labels, your isms and schisms. For a moment, this precious moment. Put down your sword. Put down your shield. Put down your safety. Put it down, all of it. And share what remains. A smile, maybe. Or a hug. Or a dance or a song. Or just share some silence with me. Please do. Put down your sword. For a moment, I invite you. Provocative note. A sword can be your most cherished values and beliefs, by the way, or your way of thinking, or even the cause that you'd fight to the death for. A sword can be the very last thing you'd ever want to put down. Still, I invite you to put down the sword, if only for a few moments. The Sonderless Challenge Before I leave you, here's a little something for you to ponder on during your week. Can you remember a time when you decided to listen to understand someone that you thought was wrong? E.g. a racist, a sexist, a homophobe, or a vegan, or an omnivore, carnivore, etc. Rather than simply engage in the usual arguments that defend how you see things and illustrate the wrongness of their position. For example, you said to somebody, Please tell me why you think that. I'm genuinely curious. You have been listening to Sonderlust with Steve M. Nash. All the way to the end. Thank you. For more about this podcast and to join the Sonderlust mailing list, please visit stevemnash.com forward slash podcast.